Hey guys, welcome to another sketchbook tour. This is going to be what I call the Oceans sketchbook, just because of that sticker on the front. And this is a Stillman and Burn Nova series sketchbook with gray pages. I tried the tan last year and really enjoyed that, so decided on the gray this time around. This here, first page is color pencil. And I found the gray to be quite a challenge. Um, this is acrylic here as well as here because it was just a little bit too dark for me. I found that the tan really, really worked, but the gray just wasn't the right fit for me, unfortunately. This is gouache over here. I did, however, find that the gray, what works, or some of my favorite things that, that have worked, have been really bright colors like yellows, oranges, and reds. So you might find that I've been using a lot of those colors in this sketchbook here, just because they really pop. They look really kind of good against the gray. And the other thing I've been doing, this is gouache again, was a, lot, a little bit more collage than I've done in the past, because I used to do collage quite frequently in my old sketchbooks because, this is acrylic paint here, um, because you'd paint something, you'd use watercolor or acrylic, and then it would just bleed right through the paper, like my old sketchbooks. And then I would use collage as a way to compensate on the opposite or on the underside of the page. And then I got way better quality sketchbooks and I didn't need to do that anymore. So I started doing a lot more of my own stuff. This is the inspiration up here for this, this page. Lots of loose brush strokes, which I enjoyed. Lots of bright colors. And I realized that I kind of missed doing collage. <laughs> so I did a little bit more of it in the sketchbook here. And because I wasn't a huge fan of the gray pages, it was a great way to like do most of my collage in here so that I could work my way through it. Uh, this is pencil and the rest is acrylic. This is acrylic and... I don't know if you can see the little people, little ant people. And this is from a memory I had from when I was a little kid. I used to have this friend, her name was Dina, and she tried to convince me that there was a colony of people that lived in the clouds. And I thought, that's really adorable. <laughs> and I painted this. I haven't thought about her in a long time, I don't know why, but just thought of her. And that weird little memory. This is from a book called The Goldfinch by Donna Tart. It didn't agree with me as a book, unfortunately. I didn't really love it, but I did really enjoy some of her thoughts on art in it. I think that they were really kind of well said, very well spoken, and this was one of my favorite quotes from the book. Um, you can look at a picture for a week and never think of it again, or you can look at a picture for a second and think of it all your life. I think that's so true, and it just really hit me when I read that, so... Yeah, some practicing of acrylic portraits. These are from fairly early on in the year, and I didn't don't think I did a really great job, but I still enjoyed it. It's still fun. This was charcoal, and the one thing that I find really interesting when it comes to the toned pages, whether it's the gray or the tan, is that you know when you're starting drawing something on white paper the bits that are the brightest, so the highlights, are the stuff that you want to leave behind, that, that you want the white to shine through. Whereas with gray paper, you're starting off in the middle and you can add the highlights in. And I find that that is one thing I do actually really enjoy about toned paper. And that's one thing that you can kind of see here as I use quite a bit of white um, to, to, to kind of make him pop a little bit more off of the page. And so that, that is one thing I really do enjoy about using the, the toned paper. Yeah, this one, actually, I'll show you the companion piece of sorts to this one. It's my old sketchbook. This is the one, the Epsilon, that I did a little while ago. And you can see this was the drawing reference for this one, this page. And I really like the original, so I was like, I'm going to use this in like a collage. And so I decided to use both of them, so they're kind of side-by-side -side pieces. One in each sketchbook. And let's see here. It's really sturdy now because I just glued so much stuff down. <laughs> Some more acrylic portraits. 
This page actually took quite a long time for me to do. I didn't realize, because of course it's gray, gray paper, and the one thing that you can't really do is you like things like pinks, reds, yellows, even some of the greens. When you put that directly onto gray, it doesn't look good at all. So what you have to do is you have to do the white underneath to make that color pop. And uh, this page ended up taking forever to do. Still very fun and I learned a lot, but it was just made me laugh because after like four hours, I'm like, okay, I've got like half of this and this is a lot. Um, this page, <laughs> um, this is the first time I tried using color pencil instead of just like regular pencil. And I used this sort of wine color that I really, really enjoyed. And I really love how this turned out. It's like one of my favorite drawings that I did. Um, pasted it down and then when I closed the, the, the sketchbook. I don't know if you can see your little bald patch right here that I had to paint over and the th same thing on the opposite page right here. And uh, it ended up just and it had to get unstuck and then of course it just ripped the pages completely which is unfortunate. And I ended up having to like redo the entire background several times, several layers and uh, <laughs> I was really upset about that. And, um, and yeah so it looked quite different originally and then I went in a totally different direction with it. And it's something that like this is something I've been thinking about a lot and especially right now because right now I'm filming this at the end of a one week staycation from work. Um, I don't have enough money to like go anywhere this year so I've just been taking like one week here and there and just like relaxing, chilling at home, catching up on stuff and it's been a real sort of eye-opening experience for me because I realized just how much progress I can make in a one week in terms of like my own personal passions and goals. So in terms of like art or creating of any kind, like for me sewing is another thing I really enjoy, baking, cooking, that kind of thing. And how much I can, how much time I have to actually pursue the things that I really love doing and how much progress I could make, like seeing the stuff I was making at the beginning of week, beginning of a week until the very end is so, so like different. And even just like a one week can make such a huge difference. And I feel so sad that I'll like never be able to be like a stay at home artist or anything like that. Cause just financially, that's not something I'm able to do by myself. And, uh, and how sad that makes me because like, basically I'll like, I'll never retire. I'll never have the financial stability to retire. Um, because I live in a very expensive part of the world, unfortunately, and how I'll be working 40 hours a week for basically the rest of my life. And I, I really do. I like my job actually. It's, I really do enjoy working, but it's just the fact that I'll be doing it forever. And the fact that it's, a huge percentage of my life and my day and how you know like the latest scientific studies have shown that people can do the same amount of work in like 20 to 25 hours that they can do in 40 it's just that 40 is this sort of like government mandated requirement in terms of basic work hours and how how much could change if I could just like cut this 40 hours in half be able to do 20 hours a week and just how much my life and how much the world would change if people all over the world were able to just sort of like follow their passions like in terms of like like imagine if you could you know learn more imagine if you could go back to school if you could um if you could follow a scientific pursuit if you even could like read more or do more with your with your day about just how much the world would progress in terms of like the arts and the humanities which is always the stuff that kind of gets left behind um in in the capitalist pursuit and just that's been on my mind quite a lot lately so that's what this page is about i'm sorry <laughs> i've been talking too much about one page but that's how i am right so on to more light things. This is my, this is my brain at me. I also just really have been enjoying those bright fluorescent pink colors. So this is pencil, and I did this page partially traditionally, then partially digitally, and then went back to traditionally. So it's been fun to see how it's changed over over those many ways. This guy's braid was like the hardest thing to draw. I don't know why, but I had a total mind-numbing moment where I just could not figure out how to paint, how to draw a, a braid. Just lost the ability <laughs> to like sit there and braid my own hair to see what it should look like properly. This is actually based off of a photograph my mom took, I think in the 90s when we went camping to a lake in Alberta. I was uh, going through old photo books and I found that and I really liked how it looked. Some more hand studies. Um, these are Tom Hiddleston's hands. It's 
day. I'll have to re-glue that later. Uh, this is another piece that has like a companion piece of sorts. It was this page from the same Nova series sketchbook with the tan pages. And I did this, which was like glimpses of the sky. And then I did the same thing here, but I wanted to do um, glimpses of like an early sunrise. Sorry, early sunset. And I wanted to capture those like dusty pinks, those yellows, those orange colors, because um, I, I didn't want to do too much of a mix of like the purples and the blues. I just wanted to focus a little bit on, on these colors specifically and then use the other ones maybe for another page. And I just really like how it turns out. I, I like these colors, they're some of my favorites. And now I'm gonna have these two side by side. And then maybe a third one in another sketchbook later on. this page a very chunky sketchbook when someone shows you who they really are believe them and you can see how this everything sort of shifted around like this is too far to the right and that was all because I had to find a way to like get this so that it, it none of the letters kind of hit awkwardly down the spine of the book and that was really difficult for me to do when I was making this so I ended up getting sort of shifted awkwardly and it's also a really important page for me because um, someone posted this like not a challenge but just something that they posted on I think YouTube or Instagram where they wrote like 20 things that I've learned in my 20 years of life or something like that and I really like that concept I wanted to try it myself so I decided to do um, do that last year and I sort of failed I could not figure out that many things to say so I think I overdid it and was trying to come up with like really important things or it really just could have been anything but one of them was was this um, you know because we always have a tendency because it's usually usually about someone that we love and we all have a tendency to just sort of not forgive but to sort of overlook when someone is showing you instead of telling you that they don't want to spend time with you they don't want to be around you you know someone who doesn't answer your texts someone who um, you're always reaching out to them instead of them reaching out to you someone who is just sort of telling you in, in so many words that they don't want to be around you and uh, and you kind of have to realize that and it's really hard to see especially if it's someone that you love and so that's what this sort of page is about is to you know when when someone is constantly showing you that they don't want to know you in a sense um, you got to believe them and that can be really difficult so this is a self-portrait and as I was writing the words, I realized, because I wrote this with the self-portrait in mind when I was putting those words down, but I realized that people, you know, nobody really knows what I look like. I never post selfies because, and so th would that change the way you interact with this page? Like, if you know that this is a self-portrait, do it, does it change the meaning of the words kind of thing? Just find that interesting to think about. This page was really fun. Um, this was acrylic ink. I put down the yellow first and then I let the red and the pink sort of drip down and then as it dripped I sprayed it with water and that's how I ended up with these sort of like cool looking very like organic looking like roots of sort of a sort really just like how that turned out that says don't forget to perform your gender and this was the last page I did which is very simple very fun and cute I just figured, last page, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and a test page. And yeah, started January 30th, finished October 25th. I haven't had a chance to write it on the spine yet because I finished the sketchbook like 20 minutes ago. And also some of my own handmade uh, stickers on here as well. This one here is one of my own. And I've just been kind of practicing, testing out if it's something I can, I can make, if it's something easy. And, uh, and that and this one here is also one of my own and I sell this one in my Etsy store as well if you're interested at all and then this one down here I have enough fight in me to giggle in the face of bombs if only mother could see me now a silver grenade pin between my soft pink gums and the author of that is Anosh Irani from a, a short story and I'm not gonna turn that into a sticker because it's not my own words so that would be yeah, inappropriate but I really like that particular quote so I put it on here so yes, that was, again, Stillman and Burn Nova Series sketchbook with the gray pages. And, uh, and yeah, this has been a, a chunky one. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any favorite pages, if you have any thoughts or feelings, do put them in the comments. I do love reading yours, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!